These rodents are tripping, not tripping over their feet, but on LSD. For seven years, scientists from the University of Lund in Sweden have been testing the effects of psychedelics and amphetamines on the brain activity of rats. The experiments are twofold. First, to see how drugs that are sometimes used recreationally may help neurological disorders. So one important aspect is, is of course, to understand better the, the therapeutic mechanism of these drugs. Like why, why is it actually helping in depression, for example? And the second is to test where consciousness begins, which could be a factor in developing artificial intelligence. We urgently need a better understanding of how consciousness is generated. Um, but, yeah, but right now we, we only know that it is generated in our brains. LSD, the drug sometimes referred to as acid or Lucy, was introduced in the 1940s as a psychiatric drug, but became popular recreationally with the hippie movement of the 1960s and 70s. Ketamine is a horse tranquilizer that has shown promise in humans as a depression and pain management tool. It has also found its way as a popular party drug. 128 areas of the rat's brains are monitored. Researchers say the experiment is not that complicated. It's the simplest experiment uh, possible. We just measure spontaneous behavior, spontaneous activity. We just give the drug uh, and we compare the the activity before drug and after drug. Scientists have a way to go before the connections are made between psychological treatments and brain consciousness. Lately, uh, this topic has gained lots of attention and uh, the therapeutic potentials are huge. Uh, however, little is known about, about the mechanisms and uh, we saw a great opportunity. But these high rodents are potentially helping humans, tripping or not. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.